How's it hanging everyone? It is Andrew here from iDownloadBlog. This is just a quick tip on some of the different things that you connect to your iPad using Apple's USB 3 camera adapter. So we're not actually going to do a full review here on the actual camera adapter. That is for a different video and there will be a link at the end of this one. But if you're not familiar, the camera adapter is a USB port that you can connect to your iPad. So it has lightning on one end and then an actual USB port on the other. The new version has USB 3 for the 12.9 inch iPad Pro and it has pass through power. So certain devices that we're going to look at need more power than others. And previously you get a little pop up saying you need more power. But with this new model and that pass through charging, that lightning port there on the right hand side, that'll allow you to charge or have power while you have something connected. Now, obviously Apple made this and is marketing this as a camera connector. So you can obviously connect your camera to your iPad. But on the other hand, they're not shy about what else you can connect to it. There's many different things, including a USB ethernet adapter, which is very handy for those in corporate environments. You can connect microphones. As long as those microphones are class compliant or iOS compliant, you'll notice that they're hidden on their specs like this microphone I have here, which is the neat widget microphone, but there's tons of them out there. Like the blue microphones are very popular for podcasting. Simply plug it in and you're good to go. You can also use a MIDI keyboard. So if you have a USB powered keyboard like the one I have here, I can literally just plug this into my iPad and I can record right into GarageBand. This will work with other MIDI interfaces as well, not just keyboards. Now you actually can plug in some types of USB drives. Now, sometimes when you plug them in, you're gonna get this thing that says can't use device, and that's gonna happen. Not all USB devices are gonna be supported. So my Envoy Pro here, out of luck. However, this little flash drive that I have, I can simply plug that in. And while at first you get this warning that you don't have enough power, as soon as you actually plug in that lightning cable and use that pass through power, it'll open the import screen and you can start using your flash drive to import photos. So this is just a few things like ethernet adapters, MIDI interfaces, microphones, and flash drives. If you have anything else that you know you can plug in, let us know down in the comments and share the knowledge. Other than that, if you found this video at least a little bit useful, please go ahead and subscribe. And until next time, this has been Andrew for iDownloadVlog.